Welcome back. Well, right about now, hotels are booked solid down in St. George. Softball tournaments, soccer tournament, tournaments, and as much golf as you can get in before sundown, right? Well, there was also a little rappelling going off on the side of this cliff. News specialist Alex Cabrera was there this morning and says you probably haven't seen a rappel like this one. Rob is going to be going down with you. The only way to finish something is to start. Thanks so much for being out here this morning. Hey, no for Brittany Fisher, finishing a rappel down Cougar Cliffs in St. George. Is that a middle buckle? Has been on her mind for four years. I have no doubts or fears going into it. You betcha. Because it was four years ago to the day when she started. I'm like just ready to to live a normal life, not let this hang over me, not let this injury like define me and and hold me down. Fisher and some friends were visiting from Utah State University when something went wrong. She hit the ground a few seconds and about a hundred feet later. Yeah, it was a it was a rough night. I... Mike Thomas remembers that call. He's on the search and rescue team that brought her out. The outcome was uncertain. Even after we uh, put her on life flight, I couldn't wait for the phone call the next day to find out that she was stable in the hospital. Fisher's legs were shattered, and doctors told her she probably wouldn't walk again, but she was alive. So when Fisher told Thomas about a year ago she wanted to finish what she started, he started planning to make it happen. And I started making phone calls, and do you know how many no's I got? Zero. So today, that same team that rescued her, in a way, helped save her. We want, we want that security feel. Rescuers stayed with her, watching. Oh, I'm more scared of heights. <laughs> it's What's the first time absolutely right? understandable. To see the woman who was told she wouldn't walk again, now flying. We are on the deck, gentlemen. And when she made it down, even her parents, visiting from Illinois for this, knew something in her changed. I think part of it is she had to come back and conquer this the right way. Like, I really feel at this point, like, Free of it all. Now, after finishing, Fisher feels she can finally start. Claim your experiences, don't let them claim you. In St. George, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.